as I go into 50, um, man, I'm just thinking a lot about how to grow this business. And um, I've been saying to people, it's funny, man, like this is the first year where I'm really excited to own a business, run a business, really wear the CEO hat, right? Do you guys get that? Um, wherever you are in your career, are you embracing where you are right now? Whether you're brand new at it, whether you've been doing it a while. Um, I, re I always tell the story where I, uh, remember, I you know, Todd Herman uh, was at a, uh, I was in a mastermind and Todd was there and we were talking about, you know, what it means to grow a business. And he wrote, he, he drew this thing out on a napkin for me. And it was, uh, it was this, timeline that goes like this and he said this is this is you know where you're you know you're, you're going it was going slightly up and uh he said this is the really exciting part of the journey where things keep getting better your revenue keeps going up and things are improving you know you're you're building a bigger audience all these cool things are happening you're getting better clients uh and it's very fulfilling right and then you hit this plateau where you decided now the things you want to focus on and how you want to grow your business. And then it kind of just stays even for, and he said anywhere from like, you know, um, three to seven years, I think he said. And I was like, and I was like right at the cusp of that, right? Like I was, everything was still growing and exciting. And I knew what he was saying to be true, seeing other people go through this. But I remember thinking, man, I, I, do I want that? Like, do I want to have to spend three to seven years uh, just sort of building, building infrastructure, setting myself up for the, the long haul of, of, of a business. Because frankly, man, as freelancers, we get to choose how simple or complicated we make this thing, right? And, uh, you know, you could always turn back if, if, if what you're building starts to feel um, too much, too complicated, too overwhelming, too stressful. And let's face it, man, you know, owning a business and building a business with several moving parts and a team and all those things is, is overwhelming. There's like, you have to grow into every new capability you have in order to, to, to grow something. And, uh, you know, there is going to be points along the way where you want to turn back. And the thing is about, uh, of, you know, freelancing is that you can turn back. It's an option for you to turn back and say, nope. I want to simplify it's I want to just go back to just me and some and some really quality clients and the money's great and I like the work and that's what I'm going to do. And so, um, uh, because, you know, the thing is, when you when you see the future, sometimes you can't imagine uh, having the capabilities to be able to do the things that will need to be done. Right. You're like, I don't know. That's not a skill set I have. I've seen my Colby score. <laughs> that's not part of it. I, I'm a. But you know, you find help, you grow it. I always think of like Zuckerberg, right? Think of Mark Zuckerberg, man, like the things like, you know, whether he's doing things right or wrong or, or whatever, uh, what he's built, he is at the head of that thing. And from where he started to just the simplest little idea, the simplest little software, and now it's become one of the most, you know, powerful companies in the world, something that, you know, literally affects you know, their, their changes and updates affect the, the algorithm of life, essentially, around the globe. That's, that's completely insane to try to wrap your head around that, you know, young Mark Zuckerberg could now be surrounded by the people, uh, you know, ha has grown into, uh, you know, the wisdom, the knowledge, the instinct to be able to run a behemoth like that. There's, there's no possible way. Um, he could have known what that would take or what that would look like. But you go along incrementally and you, you have good people around you and you um, trust yourself and you trust your, your resources. And then you just keep moving. And then what happens is you, you keep adjusting to your needs at the time. Now, it's important to keep in mind on what you want from your career. You know, what's the situation you're in? It's easy to get... Um, blinded by looking at what other people are doing, right? Um, oh, do they seem to have the better career. Do they seem to have it all figured out? It, it, are they making it look easy? And uh, it, it is good to look at those things, but it's important to not covet what other people have. 
it's good to investigate how they got what they have and if their actual reality is the same as their Instagram reality. And is that something you want? Can you learn how to get there? Um, good. But their situation is probably super different than yours, right? So uh, are you coveting the things that are going to actually bring you to where you want to be? Or is it just you know, be getting swept up in the, the faux celebrity bullshit status of social media. It's important to keep your eyes on those things. So, so that's what I'm thinking about uh, as we're going into the new year.